rumors about COVID-19 have been spreading around the world much faster than the virus itself, with many false claims on social media about where it came from and how to treat it. We put some of the most common to a GP who's keen to bust the myths surrounding coronavirus. People often get viruses and bacteria mixed up and I, I, I can understand why it's a complicated thing but viruses are very different. Uh, viruses are actually inert protein molecules, super protein molecules uh, enclosed in, in this case in COVID-19 in a, a fatty sheath. So it's not actually alive, it's almost like a, a computer virus, it uh, is a completely inert piece of information until it penetrates into a human cell and then it goes to work. So you can't kill it, but if you leave it for a long enough time, it will just decay on its own. And the rate of decay depends on the amount of time that's passed, the humidity, the temperature, and the, the surface upon which it settles. You hear that a lot, that people feel that they're more contagious before they're actually showing any symptoms. Um, but for this virus in particular, uh, that's not the case. I mean, as soon as you're infected, you can be shedding the virus and you can be passing it to other people and onto surfaces. But actually, we know increasingly that the way that this is mostly spread is through droplet spreads. Uh, and to spread a droplet, you need to be coughing or sneezing, so either onto another person or onto a surface. So it's much more infectious once you are actually showing those symptoms and what, once you are actually producing droplets in your coughs or in your sneezes. Many people believe that using sanitizer is just as effective or more effective as washing your hands, but that's a myth. Uh, there is a place for sanitizer. Clearly, doctors use it uh, a lot of the time and it's very useful on already clean hands. So uh, if you sneeze or cough or get any other residues onto your hands and then just apply a little bit of sanitizer, it's really not going to do the job. The only thing that will work in those circumstances is washing your hands for 20 seconds with warm water and soap and then drying with a paper towel and throwing that away. Uh, also, what I've noticed about the use of sanitizer is that people are using very small travel size bottles and the, the size of the nozzles on those and the actual very small quantity in those bottles uh, I think suggest that you only need a very small amount and again that's not true. So drinking alcohol isn't effective at all against the virus so the only way that uh, alcohol is useful against the virus is as a topical or external application and uh, I believe that the strongest vodka goes up to 40-45% proof and actually for a sanitizer even to be effective it needs to be at least 60-65% to 65%, uh, concentration of alcohol so there's no way that uh, drinking will actually uh, exterminate the virus and if you think about it the alcohol that we drink is going to end up in our stomachs and actually uh, where we're absorbing the virus is in our mucous membranes and those are uh, areas of tissue which are present in the eyes, nose and mouth. So uh, the, the alcohol is going to completely miss the mark and pass those areas in a, to a large extent. Yeah, I, I keep seeing that too. My, my kids have got YouTube going constantly on their iPads and tablets and uh, you see that being promoted even amongst um, children. And actually one of the oddities of this virus uh, that my secondary care colleagues um, will, uh, I think, support me on is how uh, atypical the pneumonia it causes is. So what I mean by that is that there's still quite a lot of elasticity in the lungs, even in very, very compromised patients. So it's not unusual to be able to take a full deep breath would eat and actually still be very, very compromised. So that is utter nonsense and has no merit whatsoever. Yes, um, so the, the rumour that drinking a lot of water uh, to wash the virus away and into your stomach where it will be killed uh, is uh, absolute nonsense. Uh, it, it will not work that way. So we've already established that alcohol um, that you're drinking 
doesn't kill the virus and, and wash it away. So what chance would water have? Um, uh, and also there's a long distance between your mouth and your stomach and there's a lot of absorption potential between those two areas and actually keeping those areas moist might, if anything, facilitate the absorption of the virus. I'm not suggesting that we don't drink water, but this is certainly not something that is going to take the place of washing your hands and stopping the virus to get from getting anywhere near your mouth in the first place. In short, check your information is coming from a source you can trust and don't believe everything you see on social media.